150 with a 5.4 and you bet it's the exhaust manifolds on the passenger side. Now Ford is actually uh, my other four lettered F word and you'll be swearing a lot when you are doing this. What happens is it's tiny little little studs that hold in this exhaust manifold. What happens is the exhaust, th those studs break and your exhaust manifold peels away from uh, the engine. And when you first start it up you'll hear a tick and, and it'll get worse. Um, uh, maybe you'll hear it while you're driving, but generally when you hear it coming down the road, you know it's a three valve 5.4. There's lots of videos on how to get the studs out and or how to get the manifold off. You got to get the starter out of the way and, and really it's just a matter of finding the right extension and wobble and adjustment to be able to get on that, that uh, 13 millimeter nut. But if you use a half inch, probably because it's already rusted, the half inch fits a little better. Then when you get a good grip on it, you can uh, put your wrench on there and just snap it off and finish it off. Um, this one had two, two studs came out, four were already broken, and the other two we broke. So um, there's also a tool that you can buy. It's a plate that goes over top of two, two good studs and helps you line up the, a drill to drill out the old stud and use a screw extractor to take it out. Um, we tried heating and we tried welding nuts to it and tried a bunch of different things and it didn't really work. It worked eventually but there's some tight spots in the end. What we actually found worked best is welding, welding uh, th this stud was actually broken inside the head and what we did was just stuck the welder in there and just built up weld coming out and that's not super strong but then we took uh, a good battery and a couple of jumper cables and just put the positive right to the weld and then the negative as close to the um, the head as possible. What happens is the current goes through the stud. Um, you'll see the stud glowing red after your booster cables start smoking and, and melting but uh, the current kind of breaks up the corrosion that builds up between the aluminum and the steel and then grabbing a pair of vice grips and spinning that out seemed to work really well for us. So. Um, we've done three of them, this, four of them this way now. We've got two with nuts and three with this method. So we just welded nuts on it, tried welding nuts on it, cooling it down. And that worked for two of them, but this seems to work much better. So we've got the most awkward spot uh, left to do, and it's in the head a good three threads, and it's behind the shock tower. So we'll see if we can get the camera in there, and we'll show you how to go about doing we'll do that. <laughs> ah. There it is. There it is. Look at how nice and clean those threads are. Oh, ready for the new stud to go in. Yeah, that's right. Go away. I actually had to walk away yesterday. Um, I did get that one out, but uh, you'll see about seven or eight of these little knobs laying around <laughs> beside this big knob where they do snap off. So um, that one's out. Uh, and it always goes back the next day, but we've got about a full day, about eight hours into this now by the time it's all said and done, probably a bit more. But I don't like sticking the, um, the extractors inside because what, what you do... So this, this would be an extractor and there's different sizes, there's different kinds. Um, there's sockets, ones that, that you can put your wrench around, but when you drill a hole and you shove this in, what's actually happening is you're opening that up and you're actually jamming the bolt tighter inside the head. So just by, by welding a nub on, on the end of the bolt, then you're trying to pull it out. Um, and I, I, I know that when you weld it, the current goes through it, but when you put the battery clamp on it, it seems to be able to heat the bolt up before it heats the head up. And by expanding, expanding that and then putting water on it, you shrink it quick or you shrink the aluminum beside. And that's just enough to kind of break that electrolysis uh, of the aluminum to the steel and it seems to crack it loose. So then it's just a matter of um, if the threads are damaged at the very end to be able to walk it through and, and kind of pull that stud out and just clean that last thread up and then pull it out. Uh, any chance that I can pull the stud out without having to drill 
Um, it just takes once to go sideways, and, and, and if you do go sideways, uh, the aluminum's a lot softer than the steel, and um, you risk uh, mucking up the threads and then the stud just blowing out afterwards. So just patience, time, um, some walks outside just in, in the nice grass, listening to some birds, <laughs> and then some violent screaming with your four letter F words. Um, and I do mean f then uh, it will come out. So we'll throw this manifold on and it should sound 100% better. So here we go. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.